Thank you for joining us as we learn about proper administration of several common seizure rescue medications. Prolonged tonic-clonic seizures or clusters of shorter seizures left untreated can sometimes lead to status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a seizure that lasts for five minutes or longer or multiple seizures back to back without returning to a normal level of consciousness within a five minute period. Treatment within three to five minutes can often stop this from happening and help prevent permanent brain damage or death. You may prevent a trip to the emergency room if you treat seizures early by following your child's seizure emergency medication protocol provided by your doctor. There are many types of medications that your doctor can prescribe to help control breakthrough seizures. Today, we will be demonstrating how to administer the most common types of benzodiazepines usually prescribed. Nasalam or midazolam is a prescription medicine used for the short-term treatment of seizure clusters, also known as acute repetitive seizures, in patients 12 years of age and older. It is a rescue medication in the form of a nasal spray. Seizure clusters, also known as episodes of frequent seizure activity, are seizures that occur two or more times within a 24-hour period. These seizures are often different than your usual seizure pattern. This can mean having several seizures in a row or they can be hours apart. These seizure clusters can be different from person to person, so it's important to discuss with your healthcare provider to identify your seizure cluster activity and when to use your rescue medication to treat them. If the seizure cluster is continuing 10 minutes after the first dose of Nasalam, a second dose of Nasalam may be used if you have been told to do so by your healthcare provider. If you need to give a second dose of Nasalam, follow the instructions in the instructions for use using a new nasal spray unit in the other nostril. Do not test or prime the nasal spray before use. The patient does not need to breathe deeply when the medication is given. Lay the person on their side or back if possible. This can be given to a person lying down, standing, or sitting. Hold Nasalam with your thumb on the bottom of the plunger and place your first and middle fingers on either side of the nozzle. Insert the tip of the nozzle into one nostril until your fingers on either side of the nozzle are against the bottom of the person's nose. Press the bottom of the plunger firmly with your thumb to give Nasalam. Remove Nasalam from the nose and throw away the nasal spray device after each use. Make note of the time the dose was given. Call for emergency help if any of the following happen. The seizure cluster behavior is different than other seizure clusters the person has had. You are alarmed by how often the seizures happen, by how severe the seizure is, by how long the seizure lasts, or by the color or breathing of the person. Throw away or discard the used Nasalam. Do not use Nasalam for more than one seizure cluster episode every three days. Do not use Nasalam for more than five seizure cluster episodes per month. Thank you for watching and make sure to reach out to your pharmacist or provider if you have any questions.